facts don't matter to that side. In their paranoid fever of dreams, the State Department and the CIA changing talking points is irrefutable evidence Obama left people to die so that he could swing Ohio, despite there being no shred of evidence to validate their full-blown right-wing persecution victimization complex. The Internal Revenue Service admitted today that some of its employees targeted conservative political groups for extra scrutiny in violation of its own policy and despite its earlier denials. Mother Just as the Tea Party movement was gaining steam, a group of IRS specialists were told to focus on organizations with, quote, political-sounding names seeking tax-exempt status. Political-sounding names is not right way. It could be hippies for change or Occupy Ralph Nader. I mean, it's not necessarily just right wing. Groups with names like We the People or Take Back the Country. Okay, that's right. Wait. Specialists were told to be on the lookout for Tea Party applications, along with groups whose mission was to educate about the Constitution. Oh, okay, all right. In their defense, there is a good reason why people using the IRS to crack down on political enemies would not want Americans educated about the Constitution. <laughs> The tax-exempt status that all political groups get is kind of bull****. It's bull****** that should at least be granted fairly and equitably, spread around evenly, if you will. So unlike much of the Benghazi inquiry, this seems like a genuine scam. So explanation, please, let's say from the individual who oversees tax-exempt organizations for the IRS. They used names like Tea Party or Patriots, and they selected cases simply because the application had those names in the title. That was wrong. The IRS would like to apologize for that. Oh, okay, thank you. I appreciate Wait a minute! <laughs> I didn't realize apologies were sufficient in IRS-related issues. <laughs> Wesley Snipes feels like a real ass. <laughs> Wait, all I had to say was I'm sorry. <laughs> Instead of always bet on black, I should have just said I'm sorry. <laughs> and since we're talking about this, you know how on my taxes I put down that I have a farm? Um, actually, I had a salad. <laughs> so. at the place that calculates people's taxes. <laughs> well, congratulations, President Barack Obama. Conspiracy theorists, who generally can survive in anaerobic environments, have just had an algae bloom dropped on their heads, <laughs> thus removing the last arrow in your pro-governance quiver, skepticism about your opponents, gun control, why can't we have background checks? I believe it would put us inexorably on the path to a national gun registry. Oh, right. A national gun registry. The government's going to overreach, and there's going to be a registry, and the government's even capable of that kind of overreach, and they're going to take your guns away from you. The Internal Revenue Service admitted today that some of its employees targeted conservative political groups. Mother In one seismic 
moment shifted the burden of proof from the tinfoil beheaded to the government. The VA claims backlog and the bounce checks foreclosure cluster had already given government confidence fetishists fits. Government confidence fetishist fits. And now this. In a few short weeks, you've managed to show that when the government wants to do good things, your managerial competence falls somewhere between David Brent and a cat chasing a laser pointer. <laughs> but when government wants to flex its more malevolent muscles, you're an Iron Man! <laughs> you know what? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm overreacting. I still believe, I really do, that good government has the power to improve people's lives and that the people have the power to restrain its excesses. I forget that sometimes, and I'm, I'm sorry. It's, it's going to be okay, and our, our form of government is bigger than just these issues. This storm will pass. It's just, really? Right now? All right, we're just getting this uh, into the Situation Room, calling it a, quote, massive and unprecedented intrusion. The Associated Press now saying the Justice Department secretly obtained two months of phone records of its reporters and editors. Mother. We'll be right back.